Daniel, as excited as I imagine you must be about 1,000 yards and some of those other things, could you just tell us how big Saturday will be for you guys, the BYU game, and you know, extending your season? Uh, BYU game is going to be a, a huge game. It's our last game uh, of the year right now, schedule-wise. So um, being able to win that and, and uh, play another game, especially just for the seniors, um, that's going to be the most important thing. A lot of people I came in with, and since I registered, a lot of people played. So uh, when we first came in, we went to the Holiday Bowl, and uh, being able to experience that and get that taste, and uh, you know all the all the things that come with it, and just the fun and the memories and things like that. Uh, I want to let the seniors leave on that note. So um, you know we're going to prepare this week and do everything that we need to, and uh, you know uh, have a have a great shootout against uh, BYU and uh, see what they can do against what we have to offer. Is it a tricky thing to balance at all, going through a normal week of preparation when you know that there's a whole lot riding on, on this game Saturday? Yes and no. Uh, I believe that um, it's going to be difficult to get it out your mind and, and kind of just stay focused on... Uh, you know, making it just a game and, and knowing that you're, you just have to go out there and, and do your job and do everything correctly and just execute for the most part. But it's going to be on everybody's head. And I mean, especially I can only imagine, you know, the seniors that this is their last um, home game and going into it, you know, they're going to do any, everything that they have to make sure that it's a good, a good win and a good victory and, and great memories, you know, leaving on that note. But, uh, you know, I try not to let it bother me too much. And, um, you know, I just I have to get better in uh, this week and and prepare for him and make sure that I can do everything in in my grasp and uh, to make sure that we get to another game. The the coaching staff and Sonny don't normally talk big picture with you guys. At least that's what they say. And you know, it's all about the the process and getting better every day. But I know after Stanford, Sonny did mention you know, hey, we when we go to a bowl game. Is that eye opening at all when he when he does address that or anything? It's everybody knew it. I mean, the fact that it came out of his mouth or not, you know, everybody knows if we win six games, you go to a bowl game. So, um, it, he, after the game on Sunday, uh, he said that one time and he said he wasn't going to bring it up again. And I think that's good. And I don't think that's what people need to be focused on. We need to be focused on BYU and their team and what they have to do and what they what they bring to the picture. I don't think. You know, everything else uh, will handle itself. Um, but the most important thing is is everybody doing their jobs and, and learning from this past week, um, you know, what we need to fix. Uh, we had a lot of mistakes on the field, and we have great room to improve this over this next week to to end off our, our last home game for this year. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, bowl game is going to be great, but BYU is, is in our grasp. And we have to make sure that we, we put our best foot forward. Dan, you do, uh, can you explain from your perspective why you think you guys started the season so well in the first quarter and in the last six or eight weeks, first quarter has been difficult for you guys? Uh, honestly, I think maybe that uh, it's, just, it's just how the game is. And uh, I wish there was a, a clear-cut answer that I could give you and, and tell you, you know, this is the problem and this is what we need to do differently. But um, we haven't found out what, what it is. Uh, we had a great weeks of practice last week. And, um, you know, it, it led up to, to everybody being excited for a big game. And um, we just kind of hurt ourselves a little bit. And, uh, you know, when, when we do that, we need to learn how to bounce back and, and kind of forget whatever happened. Uh, you know, my fumble, I needed to forget what happened. And um, at Jared's interception, uh, Luke's interception, I mean, we had a lot of mistakes on the field that we have to just kind of um, take a setback and, and take a deep breath and, and relax and know that there's four quarters of a ball game. And, you know, the whole game isn't going to be affected on one play. And um, I think, you know, when we when we hurt ourselves, then a lot of people's heads, you know, start to kind of go down. And um, it's it's just kind of like a, a, a bad scene all together. And, um, you know, it's just something that we have to progress and, and get better and just be more disciplined. Do, do you think that are you as confident a team going into a game as you were two months ago when, when everything was clicking and flowing? You were scoring 
50 points a game? Or do you think now that you've stepped up and maybe the second half of your schedule being so much tougher that the confidence isn't quite what it was early? No, the confidence is still there. I think we have the most confidence, especially in, I can't speak as defense, but in the offensive room, we know what we can do as an offense. We know all the threats that we have around the ball, and we know when we're clicking on all of our cylinders, you know, I don't think any defense can can stand up against us. And it's just the fact of getting all those cylinders clicking and uh, getting to that point where no matter what happens on a play, that we can forget it and, and move on to the next play, good or bad. And, uh, you know, as we get, as we continue to get better and, and things like that, then um, it'll, it'll improve. But uh, I believe our offense is as confident as it's ever has been. And uh, we'll watch film and get a get a good scheme on their defense and figure out what they do and what they don't do and what they can and can't handle and um, you know we'll we'll set up a good game plan and I know Coach Franklin was is going to do a great job of doing that um, as he has this whole year so um, you know we're just going to take it a day at a time and and know what we can do in that room and and know all our threats around the ball that's the most important thing is is knowing what you can do and believing in ourselves. And, and I think that we have a